is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another one. Actually, welcome to a highly, highly requested video. Solo survival out in the bush with nothing but a knife and a bit of fishing line. That is what we're doing right now. We're gonna spend the next two to three days along this cliff face, along this cliff face. I've never been here before. I found what looks like a big cave on Google Maps. So I'm gonna to try to walk there. You can't get there by car. We are right now in the middle of nowhere. We're on foot. Once we hit this big cliff, we're gonna to try to scale down, find this cliff. That is gonna be home for the next couple of nights. I'll show you guys what I got in my backpack. Tell you what, these flies are very, very friendly right now. This is everything we have on this mission. One little roll of extremely light fishing line. In here, I've got one hook somewhere in that pocket. Anyway, we've got the trusty knife. Don't leave home without that bloody thing. In this pocket, personal location beacon. This is legit. I don't have any food. We are in the middle of nowhere right now. That thing there could possibly save my life. So I do have that. We've got a Leatherman. And um, the last thing that we've got is a box full of GoPro batteries. We've got no lighters. We've got no food. Oh, I also do. I have a little bit of water. This is how much water we got on this mission. It's not a lot of water. If you guys watched that last episode, you will know that there was goats and they're dying all over these cliff, face, cliff faces due to the dehydration. So, uh, mate, if a goat can't survive out here, neither can I. So we've got a little bit of water, absolutely no food, no means of starting fire. This is gonna be a grind, but uh, look, you gotta be in it to win it. I love doing these kind of challenges. You always end up in a pretty bloody, pretty bloody amazing place at the end of the day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch this way, go find the water, scale down a cliff, Try to find this cave which I found on the maps. This is gonna be a hell one. Have a go at this here. Just in this one area, there is that much going on. This here, you can see that track there. That's a wild cat. Big cat paw prints there. Back over here, that's a goat. You've got goat prints in the sand there. He's heading that way. Big kangaroo tracks over there. Just in this little section here, you've got three different animals passing through here. And then up here, there's a little bit of bloody bush tucker. It's not in season yet, but this here is called Coastal Pig Face. It's come to the end of the season now, you can't really eat that, but that's also a kind of a bush tucker if you ever stuck out here when it's in season. Obviously right now, it's not in season. Look at this, it's all drying up. Doesn't look too good. But we've got a big punch that way. We're gonna keep walking that way over this hill, hook a left, and we're gonna walk along the top of a cliff face. Fingers crossed, this cave which I found on the maps is actually a cave and we can get inside it. We'll sleep there the night, we'll have a fire. Hopefully we can generate a little bit of water. This water I got in my bag here is backup water. If I don't have to use it, I don't want to use it, but we're gonna start punching that way. And uh, oh, hopefully we can find this cave. Bloody flies, they're friendly as today. Have a go at this country, would ya? It is as barren as it gets. Look at this. Nothing would survive out here, including myself. Big walks. What I'm gonna start doing is, as we walk through this shrub, shrub and rock country here, I'm just gonna start gathering and collecting little bits of tinder. So like something like this, very small sticks. I'm looking for a fibrous material, something that's gonna take ignition very, very easy. Cause I guess we're gonna be starting a fire tonight with like either a bow drill or some kind of a friction fire. So. Walk around here, I'm gonna to try to find the most fibrous material that we can. Something like that there would be a, a good take maybe. I'll just go around, we'll grab a heap of little bits of tinder because once you get down into them cliff faces, they're very hard to find firewood or tinder. So spend a little bit of time up here doing that for now and then uh, keep moving on. Ah, <sighs> oh, look at this. Have a go at this. This is home for the next couple of nights. So good. Check that out. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna find a way to get down this cliff here. It's pretty bloody sketchy, but that's where I wanna get down to. On the maps, it looks like that cave is way, way up there still, but this is what we're gonna be dealing with, this kind of country. Look at that. We've got one little roll of fishing line. There's gonna be some big fish down here, eh? This is where we're going. I'm gonna keep walking up around the top, collecting tinder, collecting wood for tonight. That's, that's the idea, we're gonna get down there. <sighs> yeah, doggy. You are kidding me. Listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. 
Look at this. Check this out. Come here, buddy. Hey. Come on. Come here. Are you joking? Look at this little goat. Hey, mate. What are you doing out here? Oh my God, look at this thing, dude. It's like Dee Dee all over again. Hey, mate, you're friendly. Hey. Where's your mum? Oh my God, look at this little thing. How you going, buddy? I just come up back up here into the bush. I was trying to gather a little bit of firewood because you're not going to find firewood this good down on that cliff there. And I could hear this little fella from ages away just going, ah, ah, ah. he's just doing his goat things. And I come over here and he just walks straight up to me, man, like a beeline. Check this little fella out. Hey, mate. You all right? Look at him, I reckon he's starving. He is brand new. He's got that umbil umbilical cord still hanging out there. This little fella here would only be a day or two old. He's a brand new goat, man. Look how small he is compared to my hand. He's tiny, man. Where's your mum? I haven't seen a goat all morning out here. It's not good that he's by himself. Look at him. Hey, you're a little champion. I hope you haven't been stranded out here, bud. Look how cute he is, man. That little thing right there has got to be up there with one of the cutest goats I have ever seen. He comes straight up to me as I was talking to you guys. He just comes straight up to the camera there. I don't know where his mum's at or what's going on right now, but he's brand new. He would only be, would have been born a couple of days ago. If that, he's still got his little umbilical cord and it's not all dried up yet. I don't know what to do right now. I'm just going to walk off and see what happens if that goat follows me or not because he's, it's almost like he wants to follow me, eh? Listen to it, man. I can't leave it here. Can you guys hear that? Hey, mate. I oh, know. Where's your mum? Where's your mum? Where's your mum? You are an absolute lord. Look at this thing. <laughs> Friendly, eh? See that umbilical cord just here? That's fresh, man. He's only born a few days ago. Brand new. I'm gonna go for a hunt for the mother. If the mum isn't around and it's left this goat here, this goat's got no chance. It's boiling hot out here. That thing's gonna need milk pretty soon. He wouldn't even last a day out here. We're doing some big walks right now. I've just walked the whole way up the top of the ridge there. I could run back to the car. The car's probably a couple of k's up the cliff there. Run back to the car, put the drone in the air, and we can have a look for the mob of goats because goats are a pack animal. They always stick together, which is strange why this little fella's out here by himself. He's just sitting under the shade there, and he's just screaming. He's going, bah, bah, like trying to ask for his call for his mum, or I don't know what's going on. Maybe the mum's been taken by dogs, or I've got no idea, mate, but he's out here by himself. I'm gonna um I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk, see if I can see the mob. If we find the mob, I'll let him be, let nature take its course. If not, listen to him. If not, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna take him home and he's gonna be our pet. I'm gonna go out for a big walk on this ridge here and see if I can find the mob of goats. Check this out. Check this out. He's following me, man. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. This way. I'm trying to walk up to the top of this ridge to go and find the other goat. Look at him, he's following me. Come on, buddy. Come on. Have a go at this thing. Hey, mate. I know. I'm here to, I'm here to help you, it's all right. He's out here by himself for sure. Look at him. Skinny, eh? Look how skinny he is in the back there. Very, very skinny. He needs a good feed. Look at this. Have a go at this little thing. All right, doggies. I've been for a big walk. It's bloody hot out here. The flies are chaotic. I can't see another goat in sight. There's no way this little fella here would live another day out here in this hot weather by himself. He just sneezed on me, mate. Get these flies off you. 
All right, this is what we're doing. I'm going to pull the pin on this survival mission. I will film this video another day or another time, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn this little baby goat into a pet. We, we did the same thing in Indonesia. We saved a little goat and, um, oh, it's all right, mate. We uh, did the same thing in Indo. We weren't able to keep that goat, but this one, we're going to keep him. Look at this. He is a beautiful little goat. I'm going to turn this thing into a pet. Possibly just saved his life out here. If I find the mum, I'll release him back. But if we don't, there's no way this thing's living. Hello, mate. All right, I've got about a couple of K walk up here to get to the troopy, and then we'll uh, we'll assess, assess the situation. <sighs> He's a beautiful little goat. Look at him. Hey, mate. <sighs> Come on, let's get you out of the... Yeah, I know. Let's get you out of these flies. Come on, buddy. Hello, buddy. All right, we've got our precious cargo back to the car. Look at this thing, man. This is the most beautiful little goat. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna whack that drone up in the air. I'm gonna do a big circle of the area, have a look for the other mob, see if I can find the goats. But we've got him in a box here. He's just sitting beautiful. I got him on a couple of rags and he's sitting in the box. Have a look at this. He's just sitting down there on a couple of old rags I got in the car. He wouldn't even last a day out here. It's bloody hot. He's got no milk, he's got no mum. Let's get that drone in the air, we'll have a look around. Boom! All right, we've got the drone up in the air. I'm just gonna start flying around, and like I said, we'll just have a look for a pack of goats. But uh, I don't like the chances. There's not a lot of footprints out here. A lot of the goats go down the cliff there. If you guys watched that last episode, you'll notice there was a heap of goats on that cliff. And they're all dying from dehydration, and it's just a very, very harsh world out here. I mean, look on the screen right now. It is just barren, dude. There's nothing out here. That little fella there would have no chances in surviving. It's just a hot, dry climate. There's millions of flies right now. I can't pick up any goats on this screen. You guys have probably got a better view than me sitting at home on a big TV. So if you can, if you can pick a goat, hit me up in the comment section and let me know. But right now, I can't see too much, eh? Hey? I'll do a couple of wraps with the drone anyway. We'll have a fly around, try to find... This mob of goats, it's not looking good, eh? We'll do a couple of rips with the drone. Look how harsh it is out there, mate. She's a dry country. Doesn't look like there's too much going on. All right, I'll just keep flying this drone around and um, see if we can pick up a little mob of goats. Have a look how bloody beautiful the water is right now. This is where we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be climbing down this cliff face here and camping on the edge of this cliff for the couple of nights, or at least one night and two whole days. That was the plan until we found this little fella. But that's what we would have been expecting. Look how dope this is, man. I'm definitely gonna come back and re redo this challenge in another video, but I think today's just turned into a goat saving mission. I'm gonna turn that thing into my little fishing buddy. But that there is what we were gonna be doing. We're gonna be down there fishing with a little bit of line and living the good life. It looks amazing. Anyway, let's get this drone in. Let's try to figure out a plan with this little goat, eh? Look at that water, man. Check that out. Boomer. That's beautiful. Ah. Righto, I gave that drone a bloody good flog and we went up, down, back, everywhere. Couldn't see a mob of goats nowhere. So, um, look, guys, I want to introduce you to our new pet goat. I'm going to take it home. I don't reckon it's going to live a day out here. It's bloody hot. There's flies everywhere. He was all by himself. Just the way that that, that thing, that bloody uh, goat was acting when I walked up to it, it was just following me. It was the same as that goat in Indo. Followed me around, it's looking for, looking for somebody. It's looking for a mum. Out here, it wouldn't last a day. It wouldn't last a day out here. So have a look at this. This right here is our pet goat. How you going, buddy? You're gonna, be, you're gonna have a way better life than you would have had out here, mate. I'll give you the hot tip. You're gonna be one spoiled little fella. He's so soft, man. Have a go at this, eh? That little thing there, this little goat here, will eventually turn in to something like this. If you guys are up to date with the videos, I'm out here living off grid for two to three, maybe four weeks at a time. And um, this is one of the things we found a couple of days ago, about a week ago. That's another goat skull. And this little goat in the back of the car here, he's a male too. He's got a little set of nuts on him. So. Uh, that there could probably turn into that there in the near future. Man, it is the cutest animal I've ever seen. I'll put it in here. 
Come on, mate, get in here. You'll be right. What do you want? You want the aircon on or what? Right, you can sit there, front seat with me. Let's go. We're out of here. Look at this, doggies. Hello, buddy. Hey, buddy. Look how small his head is. It's tiny. All right, we're getting out of here. We've got some seriously, seriously precious cargo in this car right now. All right, mate, we're gonna, we're gonna start moving. You want the aircon on? Righto. <laughs> this is too good to be true. <laughs> oh man, he's so cute. That is the cutest little goat I've ever seen. He's very, very skinny. The back of his body like is very much sucked in. So I don't know how long he's been out here for, but um, I'll give you the hot tip. He's gonna go back to a very, very, very loving family, the field day family. So what I'm doing now is I'm on a little bumpy track. I've got a couple of hours drive to get back to where Mac 10's at. She's gonna absolutely flip her lid when I rock up with a baby goat. I'm gonna film that for you guys as well. She's gonna absolutely melt, mate. All right, let's go. This video is gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back out here again and I'll do the survival challenge another day. I really wanna go and explore that cave down there. It's a bit of a walk down there, so uh, we'll come back at another stage. Knife, fishing line, no lighter, no food. We'll go out there, we'll see if we can survive a couple of days. But for now, the survival challenge has turned into a um, saving a mini goat challenge. It's pretty sick. All right, I'll see you guys somewhere. Ow! We got a bat goat, baby. We got a baby goat. Ah <laughs> Let's go. All right, here's a little bit of an update, my doggies. What's going on? I just got a little bit of phone reception. Rang Mac Dan. I'm like, hey, prepare yourself. I was like, can you please run down to the farm shop? Go, go grab a little bit of uh, goat, like goat formula, goat milk, a nipple, a bottle. She's like, why? Why? Do and then she's like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. And I'm like, just go down there. We need to get goat milk. We need formula. I'll be home in a couple of hours. And she's just tripping balls. I haven't told her we got a goat, but she's going to get a goat, got goat milk and a formula and a little nipple and a bottle. So she's probably put two and two together. So uh, that's the plan. That, that's what's happening. Mac 10's going to the farm shop. She's going to load up on a little bit of food for this fella. And um, I'm punching home, racing home right now. I've got about a two or three hour drive. We'll be back there. And then, um, dude, we've got a little goat. The last couple of days has been so bloody random. If you guys are like up to date with these videos, last video we're out there on the cliffs and where we're saving all those goats and there's goats dehydrating and dying everywhere. This time we're a little bit further north. Found this little fella in the bush. Also, two days ago, I'm driving down this goat track, right? I'm driving down this tiny little track. This is off-grid Australia. Like, we're in the middle of absolutely bloody nowhere. I see this guy in the middle of the track, just a car's just stopped in the middle of the track, and I'm going, what is this fella doing? The closer I get, the closer I get, I'm like, he's squatting down in the bush like he's bloody laying a log, and I'm like, what is going on? So I'm getting closer and closer and closer, and the closer I get, I'm thinking, surely this bloke would have wiped his dot by now. I get about 10 metres away from the back of this car, this bloke stands up out of this chair, it's me dad's best mate, or one of my dad's best mates, out in the bush here, he's blown up. No clutch in his car, his, his, the clutch in his car was dead. So he was stranded out in the bush, like I'm talking proper bush. So we hooked this snatch strap up on the troopie and I dragged him probably a couple of hours through the bush to a town and then he got his car towed out of there. So it's been a couple, it's been a random couple of days. I'll roll on that clip now of me towing him through the bush. The old cruiser mate, she did an absolute perler of a job but towing this Hilux through the bush fun times, eh? Now we've got a bloody goat in the car. Last couple of days have been whacked. All right, I'll roll that footage on now and then I'll probably see his back when Mac 10's looking at this cute little goat. Ah! This cruiser, this bloody trooper that we're in right now is pulling this thing 
just through sand, through rocks, through everything. We're just we're greasing him up hills, man. Look at this. Now this is these are the best cars on the planet. This guy's car's not even running right now. We're just pulling in. That wasn't so scary now, was it? Uh, mate, that was a piece of pie. Hey, this is like this for the rest of the way in. Yeah, let's cross our fingers, eh? Tell you what, mate, this <laughs> this is part of the adventure, eh? Found old mate in the middle of a track, now we're towing him home. We're towing him probably, I don't know, it's probably going to take about an hour and a half on these soggy little soft tracks all the way back. Two snap straps linked up on the back there. Old mate's just sitting there having tins. We're on a mission, doggies. We're on a bloody mission, is what it's all about. Hey, talking about beers, I'm just about empty. How many you got in that fridge there? Oh, I should have two in that freezer, but I can, oh shit, I've got a carton and a half to fit in there. Stop at the top of the hill, eh? We'll grab another tin. Not a problem, we'll put some more in as well. Righto. Well, tell you what, boys and girls, the old cruiser, she does the bloody job. She does the job like you wouldn't believe. We're towing this. Got a snatch strap joined on here. Joined in the center, coming all the way down the back. Toyota Hilux, no clutch, in the middle of nowhere. And this is the this is the man with the beers. <laughs> yeah. yeah! This is Papa Field Day's best mate. And I've just found him in the middle of the bush. Look where we are right now. What are the odds of this? So we've just bumped into each other out bush. How world. So uh thank you, Have sir. A drink, thank you. Let's go. This is the mission for the day, my doggies. Recoveries. That cruiser is ripping him through like you wouldn't believe. Good rig. All right, here we go. A couple of hours drive. We are home. Got the goat here. Mac 10's just over there. She doesn't even know I'm here yet, or she might, but she hasn't come out. She's over there doing gardening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the, the goat. We'll walk over there. We'll just surprise her with this little goat. Man, me and that little thing just had the best trip ever. We're having yarns. We're talking to each other. Let's go show Mac 10. Hey, little buddy. You wanna go see your mama? Where's mama? <laughs> oh, I know, mate, I know. This is your new home. Hi, mama! Hello! Come and look at this thing. What is it? Look at its little head, you can see it already. Oh my god. <laughs> Baby, are you okay? Oh my gosh, you are so skinny. It's so skinny, huh? Look at his back. What happened to him? To her? Use it to boy. Here, grab the box, please. Chuck him what on the lawn. What happened to him? Oh, Come on, mate. Let's go for an adventure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh, little yeah, doggy. Yeah. Look how small he is, eh? <laughs> See how skinny it is? So skinny. So skinny. I don't know how long it's been out in the bush for, Baba. but this little fella's gonna have a good home here, aren't you, mate? We've just planted all these fruit trees. And if you guys know goats, goats destroy any tree. So uh, this is going to be interesting. Lots of natives out here you can eat, but uh, those fruit trees, you better not touch me fruit trees. Hey, mate. You don't know what's going on, do you? Did you find him? Did you save him? Yeah, he was just in the bush up there. In the bush up there. With no mom? Oh. No, I couldn't see the mom anywhere. <gasps> yeah, look at him. Oh, he wouldn't be any more than a couple of days, I don't think. What are we going to call this goat? Come here. I oh, know, mate. I oh, know. Look at this little thing, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're a legend. All right, so Mac 10's inside right now. What she's doing is she's getting that milk that she went and bought this morning ready for this little fella. And, um,. I think he's gonna have. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna take to the bottle straight away, but he might have to get used to it. I'm not too sure how old his goat is, but I'm gonna say it's only a couple of days. You all right? <laughs> Look at this little thing. Hey, welcome home. You're gonna have a much healthier, happier life out here. The other thing with goats, what goats are? They're herd animals, so they they actually like they don't like to be alone. So now we've got one goat. We're probably gonna have to get a second goat, so this thing has its best chance of living a good 
for fruitful life, you know? So we might go buy another goat or maybe I'll find another goat in a mission. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back out there and keep filming. I'll just drop this goat off. Mac 10 can look for it. I'll head back out there and continue that video. But this is sick, mate. Look at this little thing. Hey, where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> How good. Come here. Yeah, mum mum's getting your milk, mate. Your milk's coming. Yes, that's it. Here we go. Now he's having a drink. That's it. Yes. Go little man. Is he yummy? Drink it up, drink it up. Yeah, he's actually fully drinking it, eh? Wee. Fly! <laughs> Sick, man. Is that good, good, buddy? Do you want more? <laughs> Do you want more? Yeah, hmm? give him more. Do you want more? Look how skinny the poor little oh. thing is. Come on. Go on, have a chew. <laughs> There you go, mate. You're having a little bit of a drink, aren't you? All right, this thing had 100 mil of milk in it. Now we're down to 60 mil. So he's had a fair bit. Well, he hasn't had a lot, but he's had a bit. But a little goat like this coming straight out of the bush only about five hours ago, straight into bloody human contact. He's going all right. He's a little bit of a chiller. But this is our new goat. This is our new little, this is our new little fishing buddy. Look at him. How good, eh? All right, my doggies, we're just gonna feed up this little goat. We're gonna try to get, get as much grub in him as we can, feed him up, get him nice, big and strong, and he's gonna start coming out and fishing adventures with us, I reckon. What do you reckon, Mac-10? How good, eh? He's so good. He's sick, he's a little champion. You just need to rest up, hey? A little bit of rest, lots of food, you'll be big and strong again, mate. All right, that's gonna keep him in. So I've just come back from the vet. I was gonna show you, I was actually gonna film at the vet and show you guys what was going on, but they had a little thermometer straight up his dot and I was like, look, I'm not gonna show you guys. I'm not gonna put me little boy on the internet with a thermometer up his dot, but everything went well. Um, they said he's about a day to a, to a day to two days old. So it's like I said, he's a brand new little goat. He's just over there, he's helping me build these fences. What I'm doing is I'm just knocking up a real quick little temporary fence on this side, on that side, and on that side. So he's got the full backyard to run around on and it's going to keep the rabbits out of our lawn and our fruit trees. So, win-win. I'm going to keep knocking up these fences. This afternoon, I'm jumping back in the troopy. I'm punching back out bush and I'm going to go film a couple more videos for you guys. So, uh, we've got a pet goat. His name now is Bowie. Me, Mac-10 reckons as soon as we got home, Mac-10 said, Bowie. All right, field day fam. This is a Bowie. This is our pet goat. He's officially joining the field day family. We've taken him to the vet. He's our goat now. He's a little champion. Look at him. He's tiny, mate. He's about two days old. That's what the vet reckons. If you guys want to keep up to date with the goat videos and photos, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the little handle here or just subscribe to the channel. There's going to be heaps of goat fishing. I'm going to take him out in the boat, hey? We're going to do some mad adventures together, but there he is. Little Bowie the goat. Saved him out of the bush yesterday and um, he's a little frother. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to get back out there and actually continue doing that solo survival video tomorrow. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. Much love. Thank you for watching. Say see you later, Bowie. See you later, doggies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Much love. Thank you for watching. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Just runs. He will not leave us alone, eh? Fully cling, cling on. Come on. There you go. Oh, what a champion. <laughs>